Let me see if Louie got these flops in my size Let me see if these niggas gon' jog my attire Straight to back with another video today we have another FTP unboxing I got four more packages in since the last video which was the archive button up and the archive pillow So this one's definitely gonna be a bit bigger before we start Thank you for a thousand subscribers watch out for the FTP Babylon t-shirt giveaway That'll be coming really soon. I also just got these dunks in so if you'd like to see a review on those Let me know in the comments below. This is part two out of three of the FTP unboxing series I guess from the Halloween drop I'm just filming it as packages come in and I have two more packages some logo tees backpack fingerboard and that's about it we got a bunch of stuff to go through I already opened it all I couldn't wait but we're still gonna go over it so yeah let's get right into it first off we got the stickers from the four packages we got a decent amount of stickers no logo stickers though I'm still looking for the orange one from this drop which is a little bit different from the old orange one so if you got one of those let me know in the first package here I got the ski mask the trench coat an archive pillow and a button up the total was $360 I guess we'll start with the pillow. I already showed this one in the other video. Uh, if you want to see anything else about it, go watch that video. Same with the archive button up. In the video, I show a white one, um, which is the one I'm keeping. I like it better than the black. Next, we have the ski mask. I think almost everybody was trying to get one of these. It was the first item to sell out on the site. It has the FTP embroidery right there. Or you could roll it up into a beanie, and that's what it would look like. You'd have the FTP and eye and mouth hole on the back. But uh, either way, super sick concept. One of my favorite items of the drop. Next, we have another crazy item, and that is the this reflective trench coat. This is a pricier item that FTPs dropped. So we're gonna see if it was worth the price. This is a size large. I feel like it's gonna fit big, but um, yeah, let's try it on here. First thing I noticed, super heavyweight. Um, definitely really good material. It's got the embroidered like the population down the center right there. Button snaps along with the zipper. So the attention to detail is definitely there. So overall, it fits huge. I know it's a trench coat it's supposed to fit long, but it is nearly down to my ankles. This is a size large. I wear a large in t-shirts. I'm 5'10", so I. I'd say size down in this one. The sleeves have cut right there so it can stay on your wrist. And if this was a medium, I'd definitely be keeping this, but it's too big on me. So if you would like this one, uh, hit me up on Instagram at sub.seller666 to purchase. Definitely a super sick item. That was it from that order. In the next order, I had a bunch of stuff. I had the logo slide, the rolling tray, the logo plates, the white logo slides, all of an orange backpack, lace charms, and a white trench coat. The total of that cart was 480. I guess we'll just start with the slides. Uh, here we have the black one size 9 I mainly got these because I have every FTP slide so I figured I'd add them to the collection these are pretty basic white on black and then these are the black on white definitely super clean slides I have a personal pair of the glow-in-the-dark ones and the OG ones and they're super comfy next we'll get into the plates I honestly questioned why I got these I think I was just going through the site and adding a bunch of stuff to my cart but one cool thing the white one comes in a white box black one comes in a black box I thought that was kind of interesting here we have the black one just feels like a plastic plate I know it's some specific material that you can go see on the site but to me it feels and sounds like plastic then here's the white one I personally think the white one looks a lot better here we got the rolling tray comes in a big box like that and here it is I don't need any comments asking why I bought this it is a tin tray that's pretty cool pretty good quality extremely large next up we have the backpacks I was definitely looking forward to these as they looked like some of the best backpacks they've made in a while here we have the orange ones. somehow these are still sitting on the site I don't know how maybe they just made a bunch or maybe everyone's sleeping on them I don't know how because these are super clean backpacks and quality on these is definitely really good it is Cordura fabric you got the reflective FTP there with the standard pocket then on the inside you just got orange I was hoping for maybe an FTP all over print in there like previous backpack then here we got the olive one doesn't look as good in person another item was this trench coat I'm not gonna be taking this one out of the plastic because I know how it fits. I'm not gonna be keeping this one Another one of my personal favorite items from the drop was the logo lace charms You got the gold and the silver I'll insert a clip of these on my Air Forces right now I'm gonna be putting the silver ones on there Not sure what to put the gold ones on yet But definitely gonna be keeping both of those and that does it for that cart Um another cart was just a single cart of these because I got the wrong size I got a 10 instead of a 9 So if you want a size 10 in the white slide hit me up I'll sell them to you for retail in the last cart. I got the slippers black Black backpack, another rolling tray, the arc pin keychain, and bullet hole denim pant. Total was $237.26. Another backpack, this time in black. I'm not gonna open it up, same as the other ones, just in black. Probably my favorite color because it's so simple. We also have these logo slippers, which I've been wearing a bunch around the house in the week that I've had them. Just super comfortable.
comfy and warm. Great for the winter time. Nice fleece material. One cool thing about those was that they came with a dust bag. That was not mentioned on the site, so I thought that was pretty cool. These are the large XL. Um, so yeah, definitely going to continue to wear those throughout the winter. We also had another rolling tray, but I already sold it. So this card, I also got the pin and the keychain from the straw. Packaging always on point for these items. And as you can see, we have the arc pin. One of my favorite pins that they've done. Definitely going to be keeping in the collection. The next one is the domination keychain. And this comes super nicely packaged compared to the other keychains. The last one they did, I think was Logo T keychain and Boris keychain. Those just came in a little plastic bag. This comes encased in foam, just super nice quality overall. And the keychain as well feels super good quality, picks up fingerprints, nice and shiny. Other than that, we have the last item out of all the packages. Probably the item I was most anticipating from this drop because I knew I was going to wear it the most, and that is the bullet hole denim. These are out of the packaging because I've probably worn them like three times in the last week. When I first saw these in the lookbook, I was a little bit disappointed by, by the logo here. I thought it was kind of too loud and uh, I didn't really like the Chanel that much. I thought it would have been better just having the bullet holes, which honestly aren't even picking up on the camera. Another thing I was a little bit disappointed by, bullet holes are really hard to see unless they're in the right lighting. So you can kind of see them there, but usually they're not too noticeable. The logo is not too noticeable because my shirt just covers it most of the time. So they're kind of just like, a, I have the blue all over ones from two years ago. I always size up an FTP denim because they seem to fit small. I have a 34 in those. These are a 34 and I'm a 32. For me, they do fit small. So I always size up. You do have the black patch on the back there. Quality on these is super good. I've already washed them once. Other than that, that's it for this video. Finally hit a thousand subscribers, so I will be giving away that shirt soon. Make sure you stay tuned. Other than that, make sure you subscribe. 2,000 subscribers next. And uh, yeah, follow my resale on Instagram at sub.seller666, and I'm out.